And we are back, guys. I'm your host, The Game Junkie. This is more Outlast Whistleblower. If you are under 18 and your parents don't approve of strong language violence and or nudity, please get permission. Do me a favor. Do you a favor. That being said, let's have some fun. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling... I just took a hot shower. I got home from work. And now I'm going to host this terrifying experience for you. Good golly. Okay. Nothing. Nada. Walking over dead bodies. I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, nice. Here we go. I need you to hold my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, golly. Jeez. What do I do? Here we go. See how these reading skills do. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin dozens today. Murdered and worse. I looked into a man's... I, I'm sorry. Let's redo this. <laughs> I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. Then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Uh, said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading, and what am I? Question mark. I'm saying it like I'm texting again. I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Me and you both, buddy. Me and you both. Why was it locked? I don't know what to do. Oh, good golly. The wall rider. Oh, no. I don't want to die. No. I can't go through that way. Oh, thank God. Duh. That's where that guy just got killed. Oh, gosh. Another what, buddy? Oh, I had my camera. Let's see. Okay, not going that way. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, obviously, if you guys don't know, I mean, it's crazy if you don't, but this is like going to spoil Outlast for you. Uh, you know, the actual game. And. I'm going to talk about Outlast sometimes, I think. So, you know, just a quick spoiler warning for you guys who care. Oh, good golly. From whoever to whoever, subject, blah, blah, blah. Miss Grant. You may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park, which is this guy's wife, the protagonist we're playing, of Leadville company, um, or county, I'm sorry, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon, if so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consultant contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Miss Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining, in quotations that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Ms. Park and some less than charitable, I'm sorry, had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that her power of attorney, uh, I assured her that with her a power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant uh, health care debts. 
Hopefully she understood, but if she insists of making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I don't want to take for or to take care of personally. Jeremy Blair. I think that's the dude that was like a jerk to us earlier. And if I remember correctly, this part I I played this part before now and it was horrible. I was trying so hard and I just couldn't get it. Couldn't find the specific thing. Ugh. Yeah, I think this is it. We'll see what's over here first. I'm assuming. Oh, good God. I need batteries. You're not even useful, dead, bub. Okay. Ugh, I hated this. I tried so hard and I just failed big time. I failed. No batteries. I mean, we got three batteries. We should be good. Oh, Moses. I don't even want to know. Oh my gosh. I just went out of here. I left the stove on. Oh, golly. That's the dude. This guy's just disgusting. I don't believe I can go this. Yeah. That's the dude. I don't know if he sees me or not. Jeez. Oh, his head's in a microwave. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh golly. Should I run? I mean... Oh, I can't see squat, guys. Oh shoot. I gotta find a hiding spot, just in case. I don't even care what's back there, like, I just want to get out of here. Now there is a cutscene in this game. There's some other people making a commotion. Anyways, there's a cutscene in this game that's just way, I just think it's way too intense and disgusting I heard about, and I don't think I'm going to post it. I'll just, like, cut it out. I mean, it's just too gross. Oh, shoot. He hears me. So I apologize if you want to see it. I mean, you can go look for it if you really want to, but I, I just don't think I'll post it. It's just... I don't know. It goes over the top, I think. Some would argue that it already is over the top, and I, I kind of agree, but... I don't want to spoil anything. If you want to watch it, you can go find it. Hopefully you guys don't have any beef with me. From what I remember, this part's just horrible. So, golly, dude, just go. Oh, okay, here he comes. I can smell you. Hopefully, I don't want to run because I'm afraid he'll. Oh, come on, go. I'll open this door. Shut that, just in case. I know he's coming. He's gonna be like right behind me. Oh, 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 here it is. Oh, thank God. Oh. Why can't I pick him up? There we go. Oh my gosh. Dude. That was horrible. I didn't even see him. Oh, 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 oh handcuff keys. Who's breaking through? 
I'm afraid this guy's just gonna go off the rails, like. I'm afraid it's gonna be one of those things. Okay, here's a hiding spot if we need it. Hopefully he don't disturb us while we're hiding. Okay. We'll go back this way. I think I need to get past that buzzsaw guy again. Ain't nothing. Oh, golly. Oh, good golly. I think this is it. This is it. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That's him. He's a coming. Hopefully he can't climb. Oh, thank God. Okay. I guess I'm the only one with climbing skills in this whole asylum. That's his soul running. I hear it. Oh, no. It seems like some of the parts I get stuck on in this game are so stupid simple. It's that's kind of funny. It's sad. Okay. Starting to get that heart beating, guys. Getting all tense. There's imprints in the controller. Sounds like somebody's trying to break in. Oh, I can't go under there. Dude, I don't want to. Judas frickin' priest! Oh my gosh, what do I do? Oh, here we go. I'm going as fast as I can, guys. There we go. Oh, dude, what'd I do? That's back where we were. I don't want to go that way. And again, I'm sorry if you can hear the clicking of the buttons. I've tried... Everything I could to avoid that. I just don't know what to do. Ah, oh, here we go. More documents. <clears throat> I apologize. Got I got a sore throat. I'll try to read this as, without coughing, hacking, whatever. Father Clark. <clears throat> Excerpt from the recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD, employed by Mount Massive Hospital between 1958 and 65. Uh... Far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in, particularly, uh, in particular, simply let us know, and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution of your sermons offer our patients. Um, especially considering the depth and the, the necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy, our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor and fortunates have families to call upon. And so the burden and calling, in parentheses, is yours. We are all of us... We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Okay, that was in 1961. So it's like a little church, like chapel. Huh. Okay. I think I'm going to stop it there, guys. When we return, we will obviously be here. Uh, hate it, love it, like, and subscribe to The Game Junkie. Peace out. Love y'all. Later.